What's up guys? Restaurant vlog numero quattro, I think. This is either three or four on the restaurant vlog. I uh, didn't check. We're here at Pastis. I'm actually filming the intro after because uh, it was a little busy before. I couldn't really get a shot of it. But this is like a nice upscale French restaurant that I've been to, well, the most times out of any restaurant in New York because their food's pretty consistent, but uh, meatpacking, kind of West Village area. You guys like the nonsense that comes out of my mouth, so. I really regret not bringing my microphone down. I figured if I came later, it wouldn't be as busy and loud, but it's pretty crazy. Uh, we're at Pastis, which is like a restaurant in I guess kind of meat packing like West 14th Street area. We did a burger review here and out of all the restaurants I've gone to for dinner and tried, this has been like the most consistent. Cause like maybe I'll go to somewhere else and it'll be good one time and not so good the next time. Pretty much every time for the most part I've been here, everything has been like on point 100%. Very good, delicious. The chef is on top of their stuff. Uh, maybe we can uh, drink enough tonight so I'll finally have the courage to jump off the Brooklyn Bridge because I am tired of this uh, dystopian planet. I don't know about you guys. Uh, so the main difference is I made the uh, executive decision as nutrition genius. Uh, the vegetable seed oils, even just once a week as a snack or to kind of like cheat or binge at a restaurant, it's just, I always feel so bad and, and my stomach is always so messed up just from having french fries or any fried food whatsoever. So we're gonna avoid it completely. Yeah, so I've been here like a dozen times now. Usually I'll have the of all cider in the glass or sometimes I'll have uh, this amber lager they have on draft. You know, the cider's higher alcohol percent, but it's in a bottle, so it's probably less chemicals and less pollutants. Amber lager, lower alcohol, so more hydrating. And I usually don't have to get like a bottle of Pellegrino or something that I'll end up barely drinking anyway. Okay, I usually stick with beer. So from the last restaurant vlog, you guys got the idea that, you know, we don't really do any seafood. I've had the crispy artichokes here before. They're really fatty and greasy, so I, I didn't do them again. Uh, haven't had leeks vinaigrette, but I did try some like white asparagus they had a few weeks ago. I wasn't a fan. Usually what I get here is this brandade de mure, which is like a cod puree with potatoes. Perfect for my diet, really delicious. They did have a potato leek soup, which is out of season now. Now they have this spring pea soup, which isn't as good for my diet, but basically the only things I can have here that are really good for my diet on the appetizer are the steak tartare and the Brandad, cod brandad, which is what we're gonna have. Guys, I eat like steak, red meat two or three times a day, every day of the week. So when I go out, I try to do fish and just not have uh, the red meat for once. Uh, that being said, I have had the steak tartare a few times here. It's pretty good. I don't do the salads, but my go-to every time I've been here has been the cod puree and the steak sandwich. Um, the steak sandwich is really good. I do it without the cheese and the mayo on it. Uh, the cheeseburger is the one we reviewed for best burger reviews, which is also excellent, but, uh, you know, it's a bit fatty even without the cheese on it, so I don't usually get it. But if I wasn't feeling like fish, uh, well, not really that. It's just um, the steak sandwich comes with fries, and I'm trying to avoid the fries. We could do the substitute potatoes with the steak sandwich, which is a really good idea, but... Oh, you know, I thought they had... Uh, I thought they had Dover Soul here, so we might actually just get the steak sandwich, because that's what I like. Like steak frites, I mean, we could do steak and potatoes, but I prefer the, the steak sandwich. Sunday special is pork milanese, which is just fried, so we don't want that. All right, so our options right now are Steak sandwich plain, which is what we usually get. Substitute the fries for potatoes. We can get a steak instead, which I don't really want steak. Salmon, no. Trout almondine with haricolver. I don't want uh, green beans, so I don't really want to do that. Oh, we could do the bronzino with beans. I think that's what we'll do. Prefer Dover Sol, though. They don't have it. Duck, eh. Duck is pretty fatty, high histamine usually pretty inflammatory. We definitely don't want regular conventional chicken or duck, for sure. Too much omega-6. Mussels, seafood, no good. 
beef bourguignon. Yeah. I had this last time. It was very good. A little high in fat because the potatoes have so much butter in them and stuff. Lobster shellfish again. Greer omelet, definitely not. Too much cheese. Celery root, a poivre, which is like some vegan bullshit. So I think what we're going to do is the cod for the appetizer. Bronzino and maybe some mashed potatoes on the side. That sounds good. Yeah, I've probably had the steak sandwich with fries like 10 times. It's it's so good. It's so good because they grill the steak, the bread's really fresh, they have the nice caramelized onions on it. Even without the mayo, aioli, and the cheese, it's really, really tasty. And the fries here are really good. They're always super fresh, crispy. The fries here are amazing. But we're going the vegetable seed oil, so we'll go with the fish, which isn't as enjoyable, but my stomach will thank me tomorrow. So normally, I prefer to sit at a table, but I actually end up sitting at the bar just because it's easier. You know, a lot of the time in these popular restaurants, you need to get a reservation. But we got a table today just so it's easier to film the vlog. I will say though, service is usually a little faster when you're inside. It's like a nice night, fresh air. It's easier to be quieter out here, but not really. So we're still waiting on our beer, which is weird because it's been 10 minutes, but we got our food. So Cod Brandad is, as I said, it's a puree of. Thank you. Go to squat the drink. So as I said, it's a puree of like cod and potatoes and they put some cream, I think butter in there too. Lemon zest, chives on top, a little bit of some type of red pepper on top. Sometimes I tell them to not garnish it, but I forgot today. But this is basically a balanced source of protein, carbs, with a little bit of fat. It's like perfect on this diet. They come with some bread, which you guys know I like. And then I order some uh, bread and butter on the side too for it. I like to put the butter on the bread and then put the cod on top of that. All right, I got my camera tripod plate configuration. It's just regular grain fed butter, but it's whipped and room temperature, so it's nice and easy to spread on the bread. So I got my butter on the bread and then cod puree. It's kind of a lot of fat, a lot of butter, but there's enough bread and starch and cod to kind of break it up. If you end up having like a super fatty appetizer and then like a super fatty dinner, the amount of bile released from the liver can be really high, which gives me diarrhea, but that's why I eat a lot of bread to soak everything up. We got protein, we got carbs, fats, high quality animal based. I actually finished it, but I'm so full. They tried to take my camera stand. Uh, so I was drinking that amber lager on the draft, but apparently the keg ran out, so we're just gonna do this. This is actually what I normally have. It's just a 
a cider from France. It's okay. Oh, there's gotta be like some restaurants in the city that have organic ciders and beers, but I don't know. That's why I'm almost inclined to like, I mean, when we move in a few weeks, I'm not gonna be going out anyway. I'm gonna have to just cook everything myself and like buy some organic beer and stuff myself. So maybe I should stop complaining so much. So basically any sort of macronutrient detoxes the liver as long as the anti-nutrient or vitamin content is low enough. So if you have too many vitamins in the meal or there's too many anti-nutrients, flavonoids, beta carotene, whatever it is, the liver will enter an absorption state instead of a detox state. However, whether it's alcohol, sugar, starch, fat, protein, there's components in each of those that will soak and absorb toxins out of the liver. So with the foods I choose and the meals like this, it's really, really efficient. It's really efficient. And one way you can know if you're detoxing for sure is someone's having fun. Douglas. So the way you can tell is, is in the bowel movement. So this meal is bread, cod, beer, and we're gonna have like trout and beans. So the meal is mostly white. And honestly, almost every meal I have, for the most part, has a, a large white component to it. But if you look in the toilet after you go, it's very rude of me to stay in this restaurant. State in this restaurant. You'll notice there might be a green or an orange tint, and that's a pretty good indicator that the liver is detoxing. The only thing I'm missing in this meal is uh, taking my vitamin B1 and mastic on which I'll have to do right when I get home, because those are very important for helping with digestion. Even alcohol, guys, even alcohol. The gut bacteria, will consume and digest the alcohol. Candida will overgrow, candida will suck up all the toxins, and uh, is it raining? What the fuck was that? You're not in it, don't worry. Are you in it? All right, I'll, I'll go to the other side. Did you guys just sit down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fucking guy sitting behind me. I'll have to make sure uh, they're not in it or off the sensor. I don't know. I don't know when they sit down. This fucking guy. This guy fucking sprinkled the water on me. He told me to turn my fucking camera off. I mean, if I was half foot taller. Yeah, just one more, please. Yeah, yeah. So we got the trout, which. I mean, honestly, I don't like fish enough after it being full to really enjoy this. We got some white beans on the side, which at the time sounded like a good side dish. And we got our mashed potatoes. So overall, <laughs> way too much food, but we got our animal protein base, lean white fish, pretty much as good as it gets. The potatoes I like for starch, but usually in the restaurants, they put too much fat in them, especially the butter and the cream, so it's not good. And the white beans okay. We're not gonna like eat all the other stuff, just the beans, so that should be fine. Do you like sprinkle water? Oh, I was like, you, what was that? How long have you guys been sitting there? When I go to edit it, I'll make sure you guys aren't in it. No, I wasn't paying attention at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's all right. Whenever, when I, I said, when I go edit it, I'll make sure you guys aren't in it. Yeah. Uh, let, hold on, let me try it. You want, you want me to try it or? I don't sure. know if I like it, yeah. It's 
It's okay. It's, it's alright. Do you want this? Song? No, I'll have this. It's good. I would be delighted. You know what? Why don't you enjoy both? Yeah, let's do it. Really? She brought us the, the wrong thing. We ordered another cider, but she got me the American brown ale, which is okay. I like the cider more. It's okay. Got the uh, United Nations of beers here. So we're gonna have uh, trout, potatoes, beans. I'm probably gonna eat like half of this because I'm so full. Cheers. All right, thank you. No, we can just use the we can use the brown ale as our new camera stand because now we got something. Put the camera on this side so no one else bothers me. Alright. Potatoes, beans, fish. Did I say trout? I forgot I got bronzino, not trout. Bronzino. So it's just lean white fish. Trout on the other hand would actually be fat or something I wouldn't want. But I like getting fish in restaurants because it's a lot of work to prep yourself, like scaling it, taking the bones out, cooking it properly, very hard. Also hard to get fresh. And then cooking it too. Fish is good. Beans are in like uh, like an Italian olive dressing, like kind of like pasta salad. Mashed potatoes are good, but so much butter. If you have like a few tablespoons of this, you'll be like full the whole night. Birthday boy is giving one of his girlfriends a piggyback ride. I guess they're a little drunk. white fish, good source of protein. Although I'm again shellfish and most fish, when, when it's lean and doesn't have a high fat stores, those fish tend to store like all the toxins and the pollutants in their livers. Since we're not eating the liver, we're just eating the white flesh of the fish. Guys, you guys know, like, um, the, the love thin fish, kosher, you know? So you know if they eat it, it's good stuff, right? White fish. You got all types of white fish stuff, like, you go to a Jewish deli, White fish puree, all that stuff. They got it, so you know it's good stuff. The potatoes, good source of minerals, potatoes, starch, kind of soak things up. But again, as I said, a lot of butter, high fat content. I try not to have too much of it, but if it was just the main dish, which is the cod and the beans, this is perfect. Guys. I would eat this every night for dinner because just the white beans, you guys know, I'm having cannellini beans or and these are butter beans, lima beans. I'm eating these every day pureed in my udon noodles, so. Great source of fiber, soluble fiber, detox to liver. 
minimally inflammatory. Very good. But I, I was full even before this came, so if I was being smart, I would eat like half as much for the appetizer and then just end it. You know, honestly, I guess we could have just gone without the potatoes, but... So we're working through most of this trout. Had a little bit of the potatoes, and then we're eating the beans out of here. We're on our third kind of beer cider. This is our camera stand. <laughs> this is brown ale. I mean, it's okay. I don't like it that much. The uh, I don't like anything that has hops in it. This has a decent amount of hops. So, yo, what movie was that from? Super Bad, where he was like, are there hops in it? <laughs> I don't remember which movie that was. I think it was super bad though. Are there hops in it? No, I don't like I don't like hops in the beer, so I'll either do like cider or a lager or something, but nothing else. Yeah, next time I'll probably get well, I'm fucking moving dude. I'm gonna be in fucking PA with the Amish fucking getting dirty in a barn with some hairy Amish girl, dude. I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> Fuck it. When I have a billion dollars in like two or three years, I'll come back and I'll go to a different restaurant every night with uh, some type of Asian girl, you know? Asian don't raisin. If it ain't rice, it ain't nice, right? I mean, honestly, let me preface this with, this is a joke, all right? This is a joke. Sometimes the age, no, I'm not gonna even say it because you guys are gonna give me so much shit. But now you guys are gonna want me to say it, so. Asian boys are prettier than most girls of other ethnicities. I think that's a fair evaluation. Chinese, Japanese, whatever, Korean, They have less facial hair than most white girls. Hey, listen. I'm just stating facts. It's good, it's good. A little too much. Another cider? Um, Actual cider? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll do a lot. In, li in like a few minutes, I'll have some more. Yeah, yeah. So the bronzy, you know, they season really nice. It's still moist has a light lemon flavor to it, even though I didn't squeeze the lemon on it that they gave it to me. So, excellent job, excellent job. Maybe I'll sleep tonight because I don't have all the iron in my bloodstream from the steak that I usually eat. I'll say it again, guys. This is fucking perfect, perfect, perfect entree. Bronzino and white beans. You cannot ask for a more perfect liver detox meal. Just ignore that I got mashed potatoes with four pounds of butter in them, you know? You should ignore that. Out of all the Asian countries, which one do you guys think I would have the most success in? Ja Japan is definitely out. Japan is kind of strict, right? China sounds passable, but China's so big, like how do you choose which city? Koreans are supposed to be the prettiest, but I don't know. I feel like I'm half a foot too short for that. Thailand, that's... Thailand is just asking for trouble. I think the, the lady boys in Thailand are uh, prettier than the girls in Thailand, so we don't want any of that. Honestly, it's probably like one of the less spoken about countries in regards to Asian beauty. Maybe like Vietnam or Malaysia or Singapore or something. Cambodia. Philippines, maybe. I don't know. Let's be honest, guys. I'm gonna be in a fucking warehouse losing my mind shipping meat until I'm fucking 112 years old. 112 years old, I retire. I have like, I have crazy old man strength. 
I would like the oldest UFC fighter. Like, all right, maybe when I'm 90 years, maybe when I'm 90, I'll fight in the UFC. I'll be like 135 pounds of wiry muscle. They'll put me in the ring with some like Spanish twink whose nose is too big from fighting too much. And I'll just like fucking grab him and throw him through the cage. Like the dude will have like imprints on his face like I just pressed him on a hot grill. <laughs> <laughs> I keep dropping this camera. It's kind of funny though. I was walking by the um, the comedy cellar earlier. I was about to ask him, "Hey, how do I get started in stand up so I can get canceled on all my social media for making fun of women and LGBTQ people and like distasteful jokes?" I mean, we kind of ate most of this trout. Now we're at the point where there's some attached to the skin. It's kind of hard to eat it, so from a rich person perspective, this is uh, finito, but I believe there are four to five beans left in our bean salad. These uh, lima beans, aka butter beans. I don't know if they actually sell these organic. I've tried to find them organic, but I only find the organic cannellini beans. So, these, these do taste a little better and they're larger, so they're nicer to eat. They also have a better texture. But, whatever. The nice thing about having a fucked up liver is you get blasted off like three, 3% three alcohol beers. The downside is when you publish your nutrition videos, everyone gives you shit for drinking a few beers on Sunday night. So this right so this restaurant doesn't really have any desserts that I usually have. I had the sorbet a few times, but it wasn't that good. You guys know we went to Boucherie a few times. They have that really good coconut dessert. Sometimes the boosterie on Park Avenue, their kitchen's open till like 11. So I'll actually like come here, have dinner, go to boosterie just to have dessert. But, bro, I should be going to like Tao downtown or some shit and talking to some ugly tall Asian girls. I don't feel like being sick for fucking three weeks after interacting with the jab people. I really should though. Maybe next weekend I should force myself. Cause I've like never been to like a club or a bar. Maybe just one night I should force myself to go. All right, I actually don't know what that is. I'll have to ask them. Il Flotante. <laughs> this fucking French with these names. For Federals, it's like a lot of dairy and ice cream, so I never get them. Creme brulee is basically just egg yolks and uh, cream, so we definitely don't want that. Baba Al Rum might be like some type of sponge cake soaked in rum so that might not not actually be that bad dark chocolate mousse i'll be awake for four weeks sticky toffee pudding this might be okay i'll have to ask what's in it we had lemon sorbet last time but again a lot of these sorbets they make with the fluoridated new york city water so you feel the brain fog hit instantly so always love so turn but you know 22 dollars extra might as well shave my ball hairs and put them on the tab let, let me ask what's in that. I'll ask what a few of these are. We'll see if we'll actually get something. But when I went to that restaurant last weekend, I had bread, appetizer, which was like 10 bucks. The Dover Soul was like $90. Then I had three or four beers. I had, the fucking tab was like $172, $173. It was, well, it's fucking, I literally feel like I'm cutting my balls off every time I pay for a tab in these New York City restaurants. However, with the amount of money I'm hemorrhaging on my business, I feel like I grew four new sets of balls, so it's whatever. It's whatever. Don't worry guys, like 10 years from now, after I'm a billionaire from all these businesses I have, we'll be doing these restaurant vlogs, Anthony Bourdain style, so you guys can crack up on my stupidity every night. Yeah, all these desserts have like so much dairy and eggs in them. M maybe some of them are kind of starchy, like sometimes the profiteroles or the the 
like barbua rum, the sponge cake, or maybe the bread pudding. Like although sometimes they're really concentrated with the cream butter and eggs, sometimes it's a little lighter, which is okay, but you don't know that until you get it. Like the place I was at last weekend, I got their banana pudding and banana bread pudding. And it was really light and I felt okay after eating it, but you're kind of rolling the dice with any of these desserts until you try them each out and see what it actually is, but it's probably not that bad. Because when they have a sponge cake soaked with rum, it's really just like sugar. You know what? We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. I'll get it for you guys. Bro, this guy was giving fucking piggyback rides earlier. These, these fucking people behind me are singing like choir music. Literally sounds like a choir, like I'm in a church. You know? It's fucking hilarious. New York is pretty interesting. If I drop this phone one more time, I might have to get the iPhone 19. I don't know if I explained this earlier. They accidentally sent me the wrong beer, so we had four instead of three. But since I come here so much, they usually comp me a beer. It's the least they could do, right? You guys hear the opera in the background? stand aka the bottle of cider is empty right now so it's not doing the right job should i get a glass of sauterne so that this turns into a 274 dollar check for one person i'm lucky i don't have a girlfriend bro imagine if i had to take someone out with me to dinner it'd be like 400 dollars i guess that's why like when people go out in new york they're kind of stingy and they don't order like full meals for each person. <laughs> so you can, so hey, hey, if you, if you guys don't have a girlfriend yet, you can either go out in New York, enjoy a nice huge dinner by yourself for like 150 bucks or bring your girlfriend and spend 150 bucks but you're both starving by the end of the night so you end up drinking each other's seminal fluids or bodily fluids, whatever. Um, venereal fluids. One of the other uh, burger reviews we did was Coral Charles Prime Rib, which probably had like the nicest outside dining, but I'm looking at this, dude. This must have cost you so much fucking money, man. That was a contract New York City contractor. Bro, all these, all these wood tables and shit and that. Electrical work. They got fucking fans. I don't know if this was here before, man. I don't know if they always had, maybe, you know, maybe they always had some of this. Outdoor dining, but this is like a hundred, a hundred thousand dollar outdoor at least. It's a really nice job. I mean, it's really just cheap aluminum roofing, a little bit of electrical work. Oh. If, I, if I had a better memory, I would have been a builder. Dude, I watched this HVAC guy put free on my compressor like seven times and I still don't remember how to do it. <laughs> like earlier in the day I was fine and then like as soon as I entered the city and the high EMF, my fucking brain just I feel like a shut off. Alright, so we got our rum soaked sponge cake. They put vanilla ice cream on top so we shouldn't really eat too much of that. Now honestly, con conventional dairy and eggs, not actually that bad. Just maybe a little bit of balloons, but the spun and this sponge cake probably doesn't have like a crazy amount of, of butter and eggs, it's mostly flour and sugar. Yeah, no, if, if I knew this was gonna come with ice cream, I probably wouldn't have got it. Oh bro. I feel like I just drank a shot of rum. Holy shit. It's not vanilla ice cream, it's actually whipped cream. In my haze of four beer confusion, it looked like ice cream. Bro, the, the rum in this is like crazy.
This is fine. The, sp the sponge cake has a very low amount of dairy and eggs. The whipped cream is fairly low calorie. It's a little bit of heavy cream. The problem with this is the amount of rum they soak this cake with is fucking crazy. I take like three bites of that. It's not, the cake actually isn't that sweet. There's so much alcohol in it, it's crazy. As I take a sip of lager. Oh God, no. Any bets on what the check is gonna be? I'm betting. Buck 20, buck 20. I'm betting a buck 20. Yeah, I went to use the bathroom and this really pretty Hispanic waitress walked in the bathroom to get the garbage. <laughs> and, and I went to make a joke if there was something in her pants I needed to know about. But she like instantly walked out. I couldn't even make the joke. Whatever. Not bad. I almost gets right. Well, guys, that's it for the restaurant vlog. Uh, we didn't get mugged by Tormund Giants Bane. Uh, AKA the. <laughs> no, the guy that asked me to stop coming earlier had like a giant big dude with like a beard, so. We didn't get. We, not too many. Not too many issues today, but uh, if you guys could please drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell because uh, these New York City restaurant vlogs are a nightmare to edit after I film like two hours of nonsense footage and I have to go through all the long. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.